Hey, my name is Dan Groves and I'm the creator of uh, PICourse.com and one thing my students and wannabe students always have asked is how do we get access to a PI system? And sometimes that there have been different options but now there's a really good one and you simply go to cal.sap.com choose logon log on you with your SDN user and here you can see you got this B2B uh, Operational process intelligence, uh, orchestration, and B2B add on. I guess this is from summer 2016. And you can then say here, you want to uh, try now, accept the, the terms. And then we are ready. We would say create instances you would need to go to Amazon and create a new image and the way you do that is go to your console oh. Amazon my account uh, security credentials create a new user and then we create a user for SAP no. uh, Cal F. we want to select this one add user to and we want to exist this in Easy to um, hopefully that would be enough. Um, so there's quite a lot of uh, different uh, the one I was just wondering if that needs any networking access hope not let's say create and then we would create the user and we would hopefully get so we get the access key here and we will put it in and we get this key here that we would then put in here test connection so here it says what are the things we need to give it access to easy to VPC full access so we go back to the user healthy gaff add permission so we add this one Add that permission. I'm not sure what they want here. Is it to read only access? It seems a bit strange. There's quite a lot of permissions. Let's see what the next one says. Use its reports. Let's check again. So maybe we were still missing.
Let's see if that was the one we were missing. Read only access. Ah, this was the one. So I guess that one would give read only access to all. So now we got the connection working. PO HMP put in EU Central. So the price is different here. The password. And then we just wait. It will create this uh, instance. Uh, we would uh, start and download it. So we would need this uh, key uh, to it. So with this, we are development training, hosting a training with employees, partner, customers, uh, applying commercial license key. So I guess we are okay. And then it uh, will take you an hour plus for it to start up and all the different things is, is going on. And, um, so one thing you may want to notice is, so it is starting with a rather big instance. And I think it's 122 gigabyte of memory. And that could be a little costly. So one thing you can do uh, when you go into your console, Amazon portal, sign into your console. So we got here. And if we select Ireland, we don't have anyone yet. Uh, we'll go back to Virginia. Uh, then we have the option. This is a different one. So we'll, once we have started up the server and turned it off, we can go here and we can say uh, once it stopped, we have the ability to change. Uh, uh, change instance type. Take it on this. No, I guess I cannot. Change uh, the instance type, and then you want to uh, give it a try with with this one to see if that would work for the, for the big instance, and then you, otherwise you need to to use this one. Uh, that would at least save you a little because it's a little cheaper to run these smaller instances. And since you're not there for the performance, I guess it should be okay. Uh, but then it's just waiting, and then you would be able to uh, once you can. Uh, you can see these uh, things you have here. You can you would get an I guess you would also here you would be able to see the IP address, uh, getting information about the, the the password and stuff like that. But I'll get back to that once we are there. So now I waited a period of time and a longer period of time. And it's like an hour's time. And I can now see I got the IP addresses of the front end server. And what I can do is then I can copy this, create a new connection to it using username administrator and password the password that I created. And then we just log on. And you can then see this welcome screen here. And it here has some links to the, the OPI Part. So we got a workspace here. Oh, this is I guess the normal BPM. That's okay. So that's the, the system and master password. If we wanted the the PI, we can see we got it here. The B2B add-on. And. Got the user here, and we. I guess maybe it was because it, it had some information that the, you could use login using this this user. If you want to go to the PI part, you have the directory tools. You maybe you can start it from here, or maybe you need to 
Java. I guess you need the uh, Java to, to run this, which may not be installed correctly. We got an NVIDIA Developer Studio here. So we, if we want to run the directory tool, we need to download Java and, and install it. Um, Java runtime, or maybe we just need to select it the right, because there must be a Java on since it is getting this tool. Um, and here, I guess, we got some development infrastructure that's just a local. If we go see the PI part, we can log in here with our master password. Getting this error. That was one of the errors that I have seen. And uh, also, it's trying to connect to different BPMs hosts. That's not good. And so the way I normally try to get rid of this is to go into management console and then I would remove this system. Remove. And then you can add it again, new system. BPM host zero. Let's see if it's up here. Let's try it so what you're missing now is the ability to deploy new objects. Maybe you need a restart or something like that. But but here we we do have the some iFlows for for PI. We got some chemical stuff, uh, some orders from vans, some different features we can uh, test and see how these things worked out. So this gives us a really good uh, way of seeing all the different things you need uh, to create a PI scenario. And there must also even be an vans provide on it uh, is too right uses the NAS2 communication channel. Oh, yeah, so on the front of the server we have some AS2 stuff. Oh, well. I hope you got the idea and now you can head on to picourse.com and purchase one of the, the courses that will teach you what you need to know about the B2B add-on. Thanks for listening. Please uh, share this video and this post with other people so they can see it and also find uh, the tools on how to test and create a, to create a PI instance and test how it works.